Hey guys, Maddie Joy here, and we are back with our Generations Let's Play. Maddie and Ian are doing their usual thing, and Ian's work is going to be here pretty much any minute now, and he is incredibly, incredibly exhausted from such a crazy few days, so he's just gonna rest up for a little while, and Maddie's gonna take care of Colton and take care of herself, and we're just gonna get started on our day. We have Ian running on his way out the door because he is so exhausted from his crazy night of being a bachelor. And Maddie's here home again with little Colton, just enjoying the time that she has with him. I'm going to have her empty out the disgusting little potty that he has. And let's see if there's any things that she wants. <laughs> We're not going to buy her a science station. Learning a fishing skill, I guess, is pretty simple. I'm not sure where you can take a fishing class at, actually, so maybe we'll figure that out. And it looks like she has bills, so we'll let her pay those really quick. So in our last episode, we had a lot going on. Ian celebrated being a bachelor, having a blast with all of his friends, and getting extremely juiced. And in this episode, we are going to be having a beautiful, gorgeous wedding for the lovely Maddie and Ian. I'm really excited for that to see how it turns out because I'm pretty sure I jinx myself every time I say this, but Sims pretty much takes control and they do what they want. Even if you're sitting here telling them what you want them to do, where you want them to go, anything, they'll just do whatever they want. So I'm going to have her actually teach him to talk. Might as well get this moving along so we can teach him as much as we can now. And maybe once they have their wedding, we'll see if they decide to go on a honeymoon, if Colton will go with them, or if he'll stay here. And I think I'm really, really wanting to adopt a little animal. So we'll look around the neighborhood, see if there are any up for adoption, or we'll just look online. Because I am obsessed with baby animals and animals in general. They're cute after their babies also. So let's see. Um, the last thing, or the only thing that you guys really missed, and that's why a lot of these wants are gone from the last episode, is I came in really quick and I added a new little resort up here. And it's a little piece of heaven. And for the resort, I had to change my active game or household so that I could actually let somebody own the resort and manage it and work it so it would be open because that's where I plan to have us get married. And in order to do that... Oh, I just went over to Ian. Here's his little military base. But in order to do that and get them to be my active household, I had to delete all of the current wishes and wants of this household. So we're going to try to get some of those back. And we're just going to go so from there. Far. You live and you learn. But that's okay because it's not too, it's not too big of a deal. Oh, it looks like Maddie's teaching Colton about broken hearts and the stock market. <laughs> I guess it's never too young to learn about the stock market. Now it's painting. I guess, I don't know. Maddie seems to have a lot of different things. So she's teaching him, say paint. Okay, say pool. This is so cute. I'm just going to fast forward, let them do their thing. We're going to watch all the different words that they're learning. And I'm really excited for this. Once she's done, I think she's... Okay, they're about the same in being... Or having needs and stuff. And she wants to go fishing. She is, like, really wanting to be around water. So maybe we'll get all of those over with in one setting. Except for the classes. Actually, while they're doing that, where do you take classes in fishing? I don't know. Ian was a bit tired and decided to do some extra exercise just before the end of the workday. Now Ian is pumped. Oh, what does that mean? He's still exhausted. And there's a co-worker that wants to get to know him better, of course. Okay, so where do you learn a fishing skill? I know here that you learn painting and stuff like that. So no. What about here? You learn your charisma. That's always helpful. Police department, don't learn anything. Don't learn it. Oh, fishing class. I found it. So you go to the grocery store and they teach you fishing there. Oh, I want to teach him to talk. No, no, no. We're going to ignore take a fishing class. Okay. She got the want back. So we're going to take advantage of it because we're... There we go. We were so close. And now she wants to chat with him. They are so happy. Maddie Joy just taught Colton Joy to talk. 
I keep thinking like it's gonna change his name, but I'm wrong because that's not gonna happen until they get married. And what am I even looking for? I forgot. Um, no, I want to chat with him. That's what it is. Be block. Wait. Okay, I'm gonna tickle him. <laughs> Do you guys? I don't see it. It says that I want to chat with Colton. Um, change, toss, tickle, teach to walk, put down, feet on floor. Where is it? I can't even do it. I don't know. So she's just going to continue tossing him in the air. Let's let him use the potty. While he does that, I'm going to have her do the same. And then we will feed him in his high chair while we get a meal because she is also hungry. Put Colton in high chair. Actually, I prefer clicking on him and saying feed in high chair because if you put them in the high chair, then you actually have to re-click on them and say give them food because it's not common sense that when you put a baby in a high chair, you're also wanting to feed them. So, we're just going to work on that. Okay, and I'm going to finish reading this because I don't even know what I was doing earlier. Maddie Joy just taught Colton Joy to talk. She will always remember the adorable misspoken baby words. And it says Ian did too. Aw, Colton just learned how to talk. Next up, getting Colton to stop talking. Oh, see, I remember when my parents said that about me. It was such an exciting time when they taught me how to talk and then they could never get me to shut up. But that's okay. That's the joy of being a kid. You want to learn and say everything you can. <laughs> Look at how exhausted he is. Okay, he wants to play hopscotch, which we can do because yeah, that is dash. part of this expansion pack. So I'm just going to go in there and I'm going to see that. Also, something that I realized whenever I switched off the households and I came back, she had a car. So we didn't have that much money when we left them. When Ian went to his bachelor party, did his thing, Maddie stayed here and just danced the night away. But somehow, whenever I came back into this household and made it my active one, they had a car. So... For extra finances, I mean, the Sims Heavens, or the Sims Gods, decided we needed some extra income. And they hooked us up. I'm going to take full advantage of that car, and now we're going to buy whatever we want. But, Ian does want a hopscotch court, so we are going to get that, and that is new with this expansion pack. So, of course, we're going to get it. If I can even find it. Hopscotch, where are you? Okay, there it is. So, there's this one. It's just your usual one. It gives you two for the environment and six for fun. And this one gives you three for the environment and six for fun. But, it is $200 more. Just because we got free money doesn't mean we're going to throw it out the door. So, it's kind of really hard to see. They put this at a horrible angle. Well, we have a little hopscotch court and I... I think I'm actually going to eventually give them a backyard. Look at how huge this, this lot is. We're going to have so much space to build onto this house and just let them just live and grow in this house. I think I want them to always live here. I'm not certain because it would be fun to have them move. But I'm just really, really happy with all the space we have. And what's this? What is that? Oh, why is Ian's camera in the backyard? He must have gotten really drunk last night. Okay, well, we are going to put this into Maddie's inventory. We're not going to just let that hang out some random place. And we have a hopscotch court way back there, but that's okay because we have all the space in the world to continually add things to our backyard. And then when Colton becomes a child, I will add so many other things to our backyard to make it a little play place. And it is going to be adorable and so much fun to watch him play on it. Okay, he is almost home, and I'm just going to have him literally go straight to sleep. And, no, what are you doing? You're hungry too, you know that, right? No, don't serve lunch. How about you just have a quick meal, have a yogurt? No, he didn't get a promotion? Oh, there it is. So it says, congratulations, Ian's impressive performance has earned him a promotion to mess hall server. And now he gets to serve food to everyone. Out of one mess and into another, swap out your biohazard gear for a hairnet and give the troops their ra their rations. Start hitting the weight bench so that you can flash your biceps for the lieutenant when he comes by for his mush. That sounds disgusting. The military is always looking mm. for in shape. Mm. I guess I read too slow. For in shape individuals, and he now gets forty four dollars per mm. hour, mm. and kind of same work schedule. 
How exciting. So he definitely... No, he wants to win a game of hopscotch. Okay. And a chess table. We can do that. And something new. He just wants to spend money. But we do need him to get... We need to get him to start working out. So we're going to work on that. Let's see. Let's put Colton in the crib. And then we're going to clean up. Oh, I want to chat with him still. Can I chat with him yet? I don't know. Like, am I just really that blind and missing it? Because... I don't know. Do you guys see it anywhere? I don't see it. So we are going to clean that up. Is that dirty? Nope, that's still clean. And we're gonna let her do whatever she wants. Ian looks so grumpy in his picture over here. We're gonna have him sleep and then we'll let him go and play hopscotch and do whatever. Let's see. He's just running in the door, ready to hit that bed. Oh, Maddie you. just broke the dishwasher. Of course she did. I mean, it's only the day I'm trying to get her to get married. But for now, I'm going to let her take a shower. And then we are going to actually invite everybody so that we can throw a party. But we're going to throw it somewhere, which I hope for it to be able to be at that resort that I just added in. I'll set the time for that, and then I'm going to let them all take naps to prepare for when we are going to have our wedding so people aren't grumpy and throwing fits. I guess we'll just get rid of that one and teach him how to walk so that I can actually do one of them. I have no idea how to find the other one. I must be, I don't know, blind or something. And Colton, you need to go to sleep, little one. You have a big day ahead of you. Your mommy and daddy are getting married. Okay, so I am just going to get the guest list, select the location, and set up this really exciting party or wedding, hoping that it does not rain on them. Can we not get married at resorts? Or throw parties at them? I'm so confused. I'm going to figure this out. Okay, I figured it out. Not sure how we're going to do this. I'm just going to let them take their nap for now. When they have a good amount of energy, they are just going to visit the place together. And then we'll throw the wedding while we're there. And I guess it doesn't have to be something huge where we invite everyone. Because I don't know how to do that. So we're just going to show up. Hopefully there are people around. It doesn't really matter because this is just really for them anyways. And we'll go from there. So I'll be back when they wake up. So this is going to be incredibly entertaining. Ian is now waking up. The only thing you guys missed, I deleted it already, is that it is a full moon. So I'm going to let him go practice hopscotch really quick. Oh, actually, Maddie's awake. So we have zombies that are going to be spawning throughout our wedding. I just want him to play hopscotch really quick. Then I'm going to have us go to, the, um, to where we're going to get married. But it is so incredibly dark out here whenever this happens. I don't understand. Okay, so where's this zombie so we can delete them? And they're on their way over to Ian. Okay, shift, no. Object, delete. And you are just done. You got what you wanted. So now we are going to go over to this resort. Come on. There we go. So let's check in and we're going to check in for I don't know I don't want them to check in I just gonna, I'm just gonna have them visit so they are on their way and I will see you there we have just arrived at our little vacation destination where I plan to give them a nice simple ceremony and Maddie decided she wanted to stroll with Colton outside so she got drenched and I also decided that while we were on our way here, I would buy Ian what he wanted, which was a chess table, and he wanted to spend like over $100 or simoleons, so we did that. And now they are all here. I also had them call some of their friends and invite them out and selected this location, which hopefully means that they will appear here. But... Okay, so in order for them to get married here, they have to check in at the front desk. Of course that's how it works. So I'm going to have Maddie check in with her family. Will it, okay, check in with, I guess we'll just do the one night and it's going to be all of them. We have Lola here who you can barely see because it's pitch black outside. It sounds like there are other people walking around. People are still arriving. So I want Maddie to go check in, please. 
please. And she also wants to congratulate Kelsey. So it says, dear friends of strangers, doesn't or dear friends or strangers, doesn't really matter. Your soon wants to offer a wedding congratulations to the happy new couple. So I guess somebody else just got married as well. And I just set Colton down and left him there. Let's see, where's Ian at? Um, okay, he's over here with Simon Cho just disappearing into the dark night, of course. So she's dripping wet. She just checked in. Welcome to the Little Piece of Heaven. I have you staying with us for one night. Sounds great. So now let's pick Colton up because I don't think he can walk up there. Nope, we're being the wrong character. Oh, she's already... She's going to toss him in the air. So let's... Put Colton down over here, and she is going to get married. So let's see if anybody will come over. Sorry, I got hung up on something. Maybe we can meet up again soon. So she is not going to be able to make it, but that's okay. Let's see. No, we're not going to chat. We're trying to have a wedding right now. Mr. Ian, you can head on over too, because this is kind of your wedding as well. And it's really dark and hard to tell, but you can see her just barely see her strolling Colton through the flowers. And there's not a lot of lighting over here. This is going to be married in the moonlight, but of course it's the darkest night of every night of the week because it's a full moon. But let's see if anybody else is going to head on over. She has to set him down first for it to work. But this is going to be so cute, hopefully at least. Okay, we are back and I just went in and changed their outfits really cute, got them into the wedding type of mood. And I'm going to really quick do, dang it, control shift Z by debug on. And so we're going to go back into the game, back over to where they are. I'm going to build on the lot and I'm going to add just one little light because... I really, really want to be able to have this be a little more memorable than it's looking like it's going to be. So here's a light. See, that just makes it so much better. But let's see if we just do a smaller one so it's not too much of a difference. Perfect. So we'll take that. Our wedding is set. We have them in their wedding attire. So, so cute. Flea Look board. at Ian. What a uh -huh. stunner. He is such a looker. And then Maddie in her beautiful mermaid silhouette ball gown with her, I guess that's partially a veil. But let's see. Let the wedding festivities begin. Nope. Looked like, or sounded like somebody was turning music on, but it seems like they're just going to wait here. I'm not sure. Yep, it looks like people are on their way, so they are just waiting under the arch. And Colton is hungry. Poor little man. We're just going to do a simple fix for now, and then after the wedding, because we don't want a crying baby. There we go. <laughs> Look at this. Why is there a tree? Why is there a tree that has to ruin our romantic moment? Look at this. And you can hear the zombies spawning all around them. This is so cute. I love this. Of course, Maddie's hair is shorter because that's the only hair that they have where you can wear the veil. It says, Ian Sunday and Maddie Joy seem to be getting a little close. Perhaps they should break up the group to go out on their own for a little personal time. <laughs> so I think they are officially married now. They are. So it's Ian Sunday and Maddie Sunday are now married. How exciting. They have a couple days off to get settled in. And we're just going to skip through all of that. I'm going to, yet again, buy on this lot because... No, 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 no. Okay, we have to zoom out. Let's buy on this lot if it will let me. And I'm going to buy them a wedding cake. And then maybe we can delete some of the zombies that spawned around us. But I mean, for the heck of it, we can also let them stay and party with us if they want. We are back. I just wanted to buy a quick wedding cake for the lovely new couple. And it looks like they are going right into cutting the cake. So I want to pause because I don't want to miss this. I've actually never seen Sims cut the cake before for their wedding day. And we have this zombie out here. So I know I said I'd let some of them join the party with us. But I'm not going to let them ruin our cutting the cake experience or view. So let's 
get started. Oh. It's just so dark on nights like this. Are they cutting it? I'm so excited. So it's raining out here, but not where they are. But I just want to see them cut the cake. I don't know. Are they just going to take their time? Everybody's cheering for him, though. There's a pretty good turnout here. Oh, there we go. He's cutting it, but Maddie decided to go behind him. Oh my goodness, she's a zombie and she's trying to attack one of them. Please don't let any of them get attacked. I don't understand. The zombie is getting cake. I didn't know they could do that. We're just gonna follow her. Okay, it's too dark to follow them out there, but that is hilarious. So we just left Colton on the floor. Where is... Where are they going? So everybody's going inside to eat. I'm going to have them actually turn in for the night. So, ooh, woohoo in resort tower. Try for a baby. So perfect timing. We're going to have them try for a baby in the resort tower. And hopefully she will take Colton in there with her to actually put him to bed. I'm not quite sure. Ian Sunday is going somewhere where the that's okay. We don't need the group to follow. Look. That was a zombie. It looked like he was going to attack, but now, now he's walking normal. And poor Colton is not getting invited in. I mean, yeah, they're trying for a baby, but he could have been put somewhere else. Instead, he's just abandoned yet again. They are not the most responsible parents or newlyweds. Let them do their thing, and then I am going to have them turn in for the night. But first, we're going to see if we can hear any music. Anything? anything and the hearts just fall <laughs> all over here so everybody outside knows oh well they're in the honeymoon suites so i didn't hear anything i'm going to let them try for baby again fast forward i need to hear that music because we do want another baby maddie wants it ian doesn't seem like he does but maddie does so we're gonna give her what she wants and it sounds like they just aren't wanting a baby but i guess we'll pass for right now is that Ian? It is. Where is he running to? He is on a mission. So I'm going to have them all turn in for the night. Will everybody turn in for the night? How does he get in there? Okay, so he is going to pick Colton up. Go ahead, continue to pick Colton up. Do your thing. I want you to turn in for the night, even though it's already the next day. We need to get you guys energized and on an actual schedule because we are on some bizarre sort of schedule right now. So pick up Colton and go turn in for the night. Perfect. I think we have successfully gotten Colton inside as well. Yes, we have. So I'm going to fast forward through the night and I will see you guys when they wake up. It looks like Ian and Colton are both awake or at least, yes, they've woken up. Maddie is still sleeping. We're going to let them come on out here and it looks like it's still raining but I don't want them to stay here anymore because I do want us to head home and start looking for our newest addition to our family in terms of adopting a little pet and getting that set up because that's going to be really exciting and I don't know I just I love animals so much I can't wait so they're heading out and while Maddie continues to sleep whenever she wakes up we will let her head home as well. We have them just walking in the front door. Everybody's in a good mood. So let's just put Colton on the floor so he can play around with some toys. I'm going to let him make some music and then he can go over and play with the blocks whenever he wants. But as far as Ian goes, he wants to buy a dollhouse and socialize with a supernatural. So here's a supernatural. Let's just have them chat really quick. That's a simple one to get. And then I'm going to buy a dollhouse, even though Colton is not a little girl, but that's okay. Put some of these toys away. It's kind of convenient that you don't have to make your sim put these toys away. So he got what he wanted. Now we're going to go to buy mode. Also, while we were over there, like I said, I just bought him some of the things to get his moodlets to go away. Or his desires and improve his mood moodlet. So here's the chess table. Just bought some chairs as well. Let's... I don't even know what overclock means, but we're going to look for... Check neighborhood pets to adopt. No, I want to adopt online. Let's see. Let's adopt a pet from the shelter. There we go. 
that's the one I was looking for. And Maddie is still sleeping. Holy crap. She is one exhausted woman. So let's just continue along on this and see what pets are available and might be a part of our new home. Okay, I'm deciding that I want Cole. It's just adorable. I can't help it. I know, I really, really, really want Rookie too. Ugh, I just don't know. Or Kai, or Cole, or Boo, or Duke. I don't know. Okay. So we're trying to add an extra baby into the family, and I think having a quiet pet will be really helpful. And that's my reasoning, even though it's not the best reasoning. Are you sure you want to adopt a pet? Pets come with many responsibilities and need lots of TLC. So while we wait for Cole to arrive, we're going to have Ian fix the dishwa dishwasher and hopefully not get electrocuted or hurt. So we're waiting for Maddie to get home. Oh, and she's nauseous. Maybe they did get pregnant. I was about to have them try again, but maybe they did get pregnant and we just had no idea. So she wants to pick up Colton. He's about to get a little music skill, but that's okay. Let's tickle him and hang out with him. And they're both just still in their wedding attire because they're just so excited from the previous day. Menard. Dad. Cole has arrived. We have Cole and Colton. Here's your new pet, Cole. Please love him and give him a wonderful home. So, you know, you don't need Ian, <laughs> the, our little kitten oh, just arrived, oh, oh, and he's sitting here, and he's oh, not no, even no, playing so with Colton or anything, oh. so maybe Colton can go join him. Oh, Normally, it's the adult who joins the child, but, I mean, I guess this is what happens when you make someone a little childish. So yeah. Maddie's over there. Oh my, oh. what? I'm so happy I came over here. Look at this. Colton's like flying or something. Oh, <laughs> what was that? Okay, I'm just going to move this really quick into one of their inventories, probably Ian's. And then the little kitten now has a litter box, some food. Well, it will have food once it's filled. And then I absolutely love this. This is a little like area that the animal can play in so once Cole goes and plays in there I will for sure be zooming in on that and showing you there's a little play thing over here on the wall for Cole to play with and a scratching post so this is gonna be really really fun and he also wants to have food for the little one I moved our little chest table over a little bit so we could fit this uh -huh. adorable zebra print mm. bed because I mean who doesn't love prints oh, choo -choo. especially if you're a girl I absolutely love them we're gonna have Cole go to sleep he doesn't know the difference between girly things or not. And there is still a storm going on out here. Once we let Colton learn how to walk and he's snuggled, I'm going to have them rest up. And then, I guess we're going to call it a wrap for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to be figuring out if Maddie's been nauseous because she truly is pregnant. And hopefully she is, fingers crossed. Okay, so we have it. Colton learned to walk. The world just became a little bit bigger for this little toddler. This is our family. It's growing, hopefully. Maddie might have a baby in there. But like I said, I'm going to call this a wrap. This is the end of what I think is episode four now. We already have our first edition we have our baby we have a little pet and then hopefully maddie has another little baby growing inside of her thank you so much for watching i'm really appreciative of all of you and all of your positive feedback this is just a hobby of mine and i'm really enjoying it and all of you from instagram you have just been wonders with all of this and along on this process so thank you i really do love all of you guys and appreciate you if you did enjoy this please give it a thumbs up if you want to continue along with us see if maddie does have a little one in there and watch as this family continues to grow by all means subscribe and i'll see you next time